Guys, to be honest, I'm been feeling like crap lately. And right now what's been going on? I'm sick and tired of it. I'm really am. But what I'm gonna talk about is at least friendship or somewhat I wanna say friends. They say you owe them money. But when it becomes like true friends, they only do they don't do things for you out of kindness. They don't ever tell you you own them at all. Or anything of some sort. And even though I owe my friends, they've been crappy about it. Like I don't have it yet. And they're not that patient. Even though they need to. If I still don't got the crap yet. And I'm sorry I'm like this. <sighs> As of right now. They don't deserve it. They're gonna be this shitty on me. Because I'm sick and tired of that crap. I really am. And it can be frustrated. They don't deserve it anymore. Not like this. After what they say about me behind my back. That's bull crap. That really is bull crap. I cannot tolerate that. So they don't deserve it. Some of them knows who they are. The rest knows what I'm going through. And they understand. Because yet, them, the other, or them, they still don't know me yet, fully. Because there's a lot of things I don't intend to say. Stuff that I kept secret. I cannot put myself and others in a situation. I just can't believe what they say about me behind my back. Believe me guys, I'm really reliable to others. The person that you can trust, the one that will protect you. Know the situation before you have the chance to know it. I'm always there for my friends, or should I say true friends. Some of them don't know what true friend is. It's friends, best friends, close. Close friends and true friends knows it's the same thing. Always. And the song I will listen today and yesterday, it literally got me in the feels. And that song about to I'm I'm so sorry guys. I'm really am this is just I really just can't take this anymore. I'm already going through a lot of crap, all these situations, all the problems. I'm going through a lot. And what they did, it put me more, it put more pain on me when they should already know I'm going to crap like this. I just wish it never happened. Because full of bull crap. Another update what happened to me, I literally got a heart attack and my heart, my heart literally dropped. I texted one of my ex 
She's the first girl I ever dated in my entire life. I started dating, dating her back in high school. And even though she done bad things to me, and yet I still went for her. I don't know why, but I did. Like something is calling me to go for her. Everybody kept saying, don't do it. But I regret it. I regret it big time during high school. Anyway, back to what I said earlier when my heart dropped. I sent this one text. It was pretty long after I sent the one picture. She sent a text back and I was I was really surprised. I thought she would hate me, she think she would think I'm annoying or anything. You know she wouldn't think of that because she know I was the best boyfriend ever she could have. Yes, I treat her nice. I treat her like a princess that she needed. And she know I'm a well gentleman that will protect her. Even if she might ask right now, I still protect her. I still care for her. I would not let anyone harm her. That's, that's the type of guy I am. That's why I really am. And it's something what I do. And this is why, <clears throat> as of now, I'm just scared of love, because I don't know what true love is at all, and I'm really scared because of it. I'm scared to get heartbroken, like I'm always been. And like I said earlier. About them, they put more pain on me than they would think of, and oof, it's not helping me at all. This is something I have to face alone, and it's pretty scared. I've been fighting since I dated her. I've been fighting the pain ever since. It's really hard for me to go through it. I remember one of my friends. She noticed I was sad when I wasn't showing it. She could see it through my eyes and I was surprised. She knows my pain. She can see without me showing it. And that's the first person that noticed it without me showing it. <clears throat> then the second last update is about the poem. Me and my friend supposed to do a duet poem. But she refused to. So it's pretty much just me doing it by myself. I must say it's still gonna be intense. Cause I'm gonna be screaming from the top of my lungs. Cause the thing about poetry. You really have to say from your heart, not from your mind. Because everything you write is straight from the heart. It's how you feel. It's what your emotion. What give you ideas about it? I became poetic since my senior year of high school. After the third breakup. I'm not gonna get to that part because it's the same person, I'm gonna be honest. <coughs> I 
I be I start doing poetry in the club back in high school, and all my poem was pretty much depression, relationship, everything like that. Then they got me out of reach. There was a lot of happiness. There was a lot of good ones. Not not just depression more. And it helps me a lot. I'm not gonna get through everything about my high school years. That's not only you wanna do Q you want me to do Q and A for the video. If y'all want me to just thumbs up the video. And last thing I gotta say for the dance video is about to go on soon. I just need to get back to dancing at the moment. Cause I'm losing my rhythm. I'm losing my style. And I need I need to get back to it in order to do dance videos. So thumbs up this video. I hope y'all got like it. Comment if you want me to do Q and A, just thumbs up. Anything, share the video with your friends. If you're new to the channel, subscribe right here. And you've been my longest subscribers or recent subscribers. Click on the bell button to receive all my notification. And let's not forget, guys. Be true to you.